Hi, and welcome to Auntie Case. I'm so glad you have decided to join me today. I am going to be doing a VR to Julie at Peekaboo Rose and Sarah at Waterchild Tarot on Y Tarot Tube. And this VR has five questions um, that Sarah, I believe Sarah came up with at Waterchild Tarot. I found um, this via Julie's VR to um, Sarah. So the questions we are going to go through are, who are you with tarot? <clears throat> what are your tarot goals? How did you discover tarot tube? What brought you here? What type of videos do you watch? What type of content do you find most valuable? Why do you participate in tarot tube from creating to uh, chatting in live streams and co comments? And so those are the questions I am going to ask. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I am interested in hearing your thoughts. I am interested in watching your VRs. And um, that will be part of one of the answers, I guess. So let's get into this. Okay. So the first question, who am I with tarot? Um, so to answer this, I decided absolutely um to use the land back tarot and oracle of colonization um since i created it or i hopefully see myself in this deck um who am i with tarot um part of me is the healer this is absolutely my eighth house pisces moon at 29 degrees um that moon of mine um really comes alive um, with tarot and with other forms of um, divination and magics. And so um, I definitely relate to the high priestess. What flavor of high priestess? Um, the anti of weapons and anti of drums or queen of swords, queen of pence. So I, um, you know, really do see myself um, as a fairly uh, anti of swords sort of person. Um, I am a Gemini. I do see myself in the swords despite my back and forth relationships with swords. Um, but I do see this aspect of me, um, where my heart really connects to my mind. And, um, you know, I just am coming in there with, you know, some mighty flaming machete, um, uh, you know, defending people's hearts, um, which ultimately I think the anti of weapons does. Um, the anti of drums, I definitely have less of a relationship with um, the pence and coin suits. Um, I have no earth placements in my chart. Um, and, um, but I, I do have a connection and I do have that connection through, um, the Andy of drums that, um, that community Andy, um, yeah, I definitely see this, um, community Andy aspect, um, of me in tarot, um, and probably no surprise as I'm Andy K's tarot, um, <laughs> So probably a good thing I do see myself here. Um, and, you know, I I think uh, tarot can bring out so many different gifts inside of us. Um, I wouldn't say this is exclusively um, who I am in tarot, but it's definitely a part of it. And we're going to get further in. Okay. So um, the next question up is... Um, what are my tarot goals? Scared of weapons. Uh, the, 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 the learner, the, the student, <coughs> um, we're going to get to this. I have a, um, Aristellium in the ninth house. Um, so I, that's part of my strong, um, Aries and Sagittarian feels 
And, you know, I, I really am just that proverbial um, student. And I struggled as to whether um, in this place I was the page of wands or the um, or the page of swords in this. Um, so actually, and I didn't bring it out, but I, yeah, yeah. Page of wands, page of swords. Um, th these are my tarot goals. Um, there, there is no such thing as I've learned everything about anything um, in, in this life. And that's something that I find exciting about life. That's something I, I love about life. Um, and so that is something um, I have as as a goal in tarot is to discover as much as I can learn as possible which is something I love in life okay so next question up all right the um third question how did I discover tarot tube what brought me here um, if you've been following me, you already know my journey into tarot was rough in that, um, I didn't have a tarot deck I loved for years, for the majority of my tarot journey. Um, and after I discovered, um, the next world tarot and pre-ordered the pocket edition, and I'm waiting for the pocket edition to arrive. And I'm waiting for the pocket edition to arrive. I'm like Googling, which is one of my nicknames, Google. Um, and I'm Googling, um, you know, BIPOC tarot decks, um, representation in tarot decks. Um, and I, um, came across a suggested video on Google, which was um, Sparkle Divine Tarot's channel. Now, I did know there was, you know, folks reading tarot um, on on YouTube and there was that side of tarot tube. I occasionally watched um, to watch how other people read, um, but not regularly. And I don't think I realized there was like a whole tarot tube out there. So I'm not actually including it. But side note, um, I, I was aware of a, a small aspect of tarot tube. So, and you know, the, the dramas you get to watch when you're watching like a tarot tube channel where they're doing readings for people. Oh, Gemini. <laughs> Okay, so I'm racking my head and I am get down to the work of looking for what it is I want and Google sends me to Havana at Sparkle Divine Tarot. Wow. Because Havana has these videos on like or her inclusive deck collections and I was like blown away. I'm like, what? Um, so that is, um, that's, I'm going to say that's how I discovered tarot tube and the abundance, um, of options that I actually had. Not as abundant as if I was looking for cis white head decks, but there was still an abundance that I didn't know was out there. Um, and so that's what brought me um, here to Tarot Tube, and um, and then I started digging around, and um, um, and yeah, so that that's how I discovered. I dug slowly. Um, I did really dig slowly. Um, yeah, which we're gonna get into. Um, cause I didn't realize, you know, the breadth of what I was going to discover out there on tarot tube. All right. 
The next question up, what type of videos do you watch? And as I'm reading this, I prepared with the wrong um, question, actually. Um, so, for this particular question, I've slightly altered why do I watch um, TaroTube. I watch TaroTube to have more fun. I watch TaroTube to reach out and stay connected. Um, yeah, I, I enjoy that aspect of TaroTube. Um, and um, I watch TaroTube to expand my horizons. Um, so, which leads really comfortably in to what type of content do I find most valuable? I would, I would say that's a wide range. Um, playful content. I find playful content really valuable. Um, it, it's part of my downtime. Um, you know, I, I could watch TV, but it mostly looks like this. Or, um... You know, I could watch Netflix, but I just do a whole lot of scrolling. Um, so, so I, I enjoy YouTube and TaroTube. Um, and, uh, so I enjoy playful content. Um, Panda's channel has, Arcane Panda has like a variety of content that goes from learning, which we're going to get into, and um, sometimes playful, um, and um, mm. I would like reality TV if it was about different people and it wasn't trash. And so I feel like TaroTube and YouTube gives me the real people I want to watch and uh, learn from and listen to and enjoy content from and all of that um so so there's that um yeah um i want to name channels but then i'm like are people going to be like what do you mean by finding that playful i thought it was serious i'm a little nervous to name channels in this section okay <laughs> um dig is um something else i find valuable on tarot tube um i like channels that dig into things so um you know tom benjamin digs into things right um oh i know who i can say was playful ethany is playful um and um i really enjoy that and um you know i like how havana dug into um, inclusive decks on Sparkle Divine Tarot. I've recently discovered that Aquamarine has a tarot channel and how did I not know that? But talk about digging into stuff, right? Um, so um, there's that that I really like. And, um, uh, <laughs> and I find Papa Squirrel likes to dig into ideas. So that is also interesting. Uh, map. I like folks who are gonna map out. Um, now I'm gonna feel bad if what I haven't named. I like folks who map things out. Um, and you know, what are their thought process? What brought them from here to there? What are, what are their insights? Um, not really a tarot channel, but I like Crescent City Conjure um, for some of the stuff that um, Elias over there maps out um, in, you know, in, in talking about spirituality. Um, yeah, so I, I do enjoy stuff in content like that. Um, I, um, yeah, so, you know, I, I like things that get into that and map things out, um, different ideas. So, um, video content that's like, um, like subject matter sort of stuff. 
um, you know, and, and digging into thoughts and ideas and, um, you know, um, into concepts and ideals, all, all that sort of stuff. Um, I also like how Kim at Abundant Life Tarot creates like a really nice map on how to um, collect in a, in a way that makes sense for yourself. I, I really enjoy that also. Um, yeah. Um, all right. Um, oh, and I like how, um, you know, Queen Aset Haru um, will dig into, um, you know, like these different questions that people have. I really do enjoy content like that, which is, you know, my VR to Katie Flowers um, digs in, you know, I, I enjoy those. Um, I guess that's more of a dig, a dig watch, right? A, watching what folks are digging into. Um, and, you know, on the play side, who doesn't like to watch? you know, say yes to the deck, right? <laughs> um, or, or a good anti-haul, um, or a good anti-haul. And then there are flip throughs. So, um, you know, I do enjoy, um, a flip through or a walk through, um, an unboxing, um, a diving, as I most especially like a diving into, you know, here's all my thoughts on this deck. Um, but I do so selectively. I do so when I'm like, um, is, is there a deck out there that, you know, I'm, I'm looking for a deck. What's out there? Or, ooh, I'm interested in this deck. I want to see every card though, before I, I put my money on this deck. Um, and so that's how um, I, I watch flip throughs, walk throughs, reviews. It's um, for, for, um, for making wise purchasing decisions, which gets back to, um, you know, Kim and Abundant Life, Tar Abundant Life Tarot's maps. Um, I super, super enjoyed on this side, the Reach and Stay Connected. Um, when Queen Hassett, um, had those community conversations and I love the idea of community conversations. Like, I love community conversations. I do. So why do you participate in Tarot Tube? So I have another part of this answer prepared, but some of it does come to back to this reach out and stay connected. Um, I do enjoy that aspect of it. Um, YouTube doesn't always like to play live streams for me. Um, so that's disappointing because I quite enjoy live stream and the comment section um, when it's working for me like that. Um, I really should check out live stream in this new place since I have a stronger internet connection. Although uh, the date that I'm filming this is not the date as it is a storming. Likewise, um, I enjoy the comments section. Even if I'm not commenting on, on that video, I'm often enjoying um, reading some of those comments and um, people's insights. Um, it's, it's an interesting thing for me though, because, um, what, you know, as an indigenous person, I've learned this lots of times. I don't want to read comment sections. Um, so I enjoy wonderful, healthy comment sections. Um, so that's like the chatting live in the comments. What I enjoy about it, creating well. I'm a Gemini, Sun, and Mercury, Leo rising, and
And um, like I said, I have this ninth house stellium. Um, and so all of this plus my birth card, um, which is the teacher in um, Christy C. Rhodes, um, Next World Tarot. So this, <laughs> this is what like drives content is like, I have so much to say and explore that I'm thinking about. Cause like I'm an intuitive learner. So whether I'm talking um, to myself or whether I'm talking to a camera to speak to you or whether I'm in conversation with somebody else, um, my brain is doing so much of this, right? Um, so that's part of what drives it. And, you know, that Leo rising of mine is like, so put it on YouTube where everybody can see it. Um, but yeah, there's absolutely this uh, aspect of me as, um, you know, as these aunties who, um, who really much enjoys and is comfortable um, it, sitting in, um, in that um, kind of teacher role. And um, I also enjoy content where I feel like I'm sitting in front of a teacher. Um, I, I do. Um, yeah, Tom Benjamin's channel comes to mind in there. And like annoyingly so for at first, cause I was like, ugh, I'm learning so much from this white guy. <laughs> um, which isn't something, you know, I tend to put my time and energy into doing. And if, you know, you watch this channel, you probably guessed that. Um, but I, I really enjoy, um, I really enjoy those. Um, yeah, I, um, I enjoy, I enjoy things where I, I get to be like I'm learning. Um, sometimes learning is like, um, I like watching Shuffle Tarot, uh, Nina Shuffle Tarot, uh, do rune readings, um, because it helps me learn to watch her do um, those readings. Um, and, you know, a good teacher uh, knows that um, only if you are a proverbial forever student can you be a good teacher. Um, so, um, those are, um, those are some of my thoughts and, um, yeah, I'm going to put titles in the description box of all the decks I used because I totally failed on mentioning them and I hope that I managed to put, um, their names down below, um, in this video as you watched. Um, so Enjoy the wondrous variety of decks out there. Enjoy the wondrous variety of tarot tube and link me up if you have a VR also. I would love to see it.